Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to go over another Q&A session. So today's question is from Alan. Uh, he's a Masters Javelin thrower. And in fact, I got to meet him when I went to the USA Masters Championship. Anyway, great guy, um, really a great javelin thrower. But he had a question, and he, he asked, what are your thoughts on the hinge over? So the hinge over, basically, um, to give you a little bit of a background, the hinge over is your upper body hinging over your block. Um, you know, we're, our bodies are, are sort of made of hinges, right? All of our joints are hinges. And for us to transfer energy appropriately into the sphere, our body goes through these different hinging mechanisms to transfer that energy and eventually produce the throw. So my thoughts on the, the hinging mechanism, for me, it's the it's that left hip hinging. And if you think about the, the angles of the throw, if your body comes in at an angle this direction, the hinging mechanism is actually going to be standing you up so that you finish the throw at a high point. Okay, so you're delivering through uh, sort of upright. All right. Um, some people misinterpret the hinging mechanism and they go, they, they start their hinge from here and then they hinge down. And what ends up happening is their body is pulling down away from the direction that you're trying to throw. So for the hinging mechanism, for me, I'm trying to get my body to hinge over my block leg. All right. By hinging over my block leg, I can basically use the, the muscles in my core, that elastic energy here, to start moving into the throw and over the block leg. That helps to deflect the force that you've been bringing down the runway. So if all the force is coming down through here, I'm trying to deflect it up here. And that hinging mechanism allows me to do that. It's also one of the things that's a, a, that's a common mistake, and that is when people hit their block, they try and stop everything. And really, you don't want to stop everything. You want to just deflect that energy, right? Redirect it into the throw. So in order for me to get a successful hinge on that left hip, I have to allow that hinging mechanism to actually take place, which means when I hit that block leg, I've got to allow myself to then stand up on top of it here and finish high into that throw. The hinging has to take place in the hip. Now, a lot of folks don't do the hinging in the hip. They actually stiffen up and they stiffen up the whole side and they end up standing up on it which doesn't allow for the same uh, hinging mechanism and it doesn't engage those other muscles that produce uh, energy into your throat. All right, another piece of that hinging mechanism is um, is where your upper body is positioned during the hinging effect. So if you want to hurt your back the best way to do it is to come in com chest completely open and hit that hinging mechanism right here. Uh, you'll, you'll feel it in your lower back and maybe some other places, and it's gonna be very, very uncomfortable. So the hinging mechanism it has to happen when your shoulders are relatively closed off during that throwing process. So you've gotta come into that hinging mechanism in this position here and allow yourself to hinge and finish up to a high point up into your throw. If you open up here and hit that hinge, the force from the, the javelin in hand is probably gonna separate from what your lower body stopped doing, right? So the, the lower body stops, there's weight on your hand, so you're gonna feel it through here and in your back, and you'll end up you know, potentially knocking the wind out of yourself. So again, try and keep those shoulders closed off so that when you come in and hit that block from here, you can then hinge over that left leg and uh, redir redirect or deflect that energy. So one of the common mistakes with the, the hinging piece is what I call a reverse hinge. And that means the hinge in this case, my left hip, is actually uh, hinging the opposite direction. So, you know, I'm looking to be at an angle through here and then hinge moving up off of it. So the left leg stops moving and I hinge and the upper body comes up, finishes up at a high point. A reverse hinge is coming into that hinge and allowing that left hip to transfer up. And what ends up happening is you end up feeling the force here, and then you're trying to make up for that with you know, contracting those muscles. So the left hinge goes up here, and then you come up here, and you end up striking through. I see this all the time with volleyball players. 
and I, it might be just because that's the way that they you know serve overhand or they spike a volleyball but they often allow their hips to go forward and then they're arching their back and trying to catch up to that throw and delivery and it's a terribly uncomfortable throwing uh, position so avoid the the reverse hinge lock in that left that left leg and allow the hinging take, to take place over the top It'll feel so much better on your back. It'll allow that deflection of force. So avoid that reverse hinge. Make sure that you come in, stick that left leg, allow your hinging mechanism on that left hip, finish up at a high point. That will save your back, save your joints, and allow you to transfer that energy from the run up, up and off that block in a very safe way. Another common mistake while trying to attempt uh, the hinging mechanism is pulling back too far on the left side. If you pull back too far on the left side and hinge through here, you're not going to be able to deflect the energy. You'll probably end up, um, you know, overturning. You'll you'll potentially uh, pull your your block leg out of alignment, and you'll probably hurt your back, or you might actually hurt your hip because you know, you'll be putting too much pressure on that left side. You want to come in, make sure that you're relatively closed off, move that chest, deflect up to that high point, and then up through your throw allowing that transfer of energy. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave it at that. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so each time I upload a new video, you'll get notified. And if you don't mind, share these videos with your friends that uh, appreciate this javelin stuff. And until I see you next time, have fun and throw far.